Hey, what is going on, everybody? My name is Outlaw 58D. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, as of right now, it is Thursday, 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m. in the morning for me, uh, Pacific Standard Time. So, literally, this car just dropped as I'm recording this. But the Ocelot Locust. A new convertible sports car and immediately it looks like L LJT you can fuck off but it looks like a Lotus it really does hence the name locust I do believe they're trying to hint at this is supposed to be some sort of Lotus uh, looks like an Elise or an Exige uh, just a roadster with no windshield type version uh, I, th I know it's an actual Lotus. I can't remember the exact model name of it, but this is just a nice looking car. I'm trying to remember what other vehicle has the engine sound because the engine sound is recycled from what I can hear. Um, it's, I can't remember. But, as per usual, we're going to put armor brakes and the engine on. No bumper option, not too surprised. Um, trying not to. So, let's see, we got stock, boxed, radio boxed, don't look too bad. Titanium boxed, titanium split box, uh, titanium large, and titanium radio box. What are the stock ones looking like? Just a couple of circular ones. Oh, uh, why not get the titaniums? Just a split titanium. Front. That's interesting. Front bumpers. We got stock street bumper, street carbon, tight, kind of taking design cues off of the Voltic for that. That's what the, the front of this car kind of reminds me. GT bumper, race bumper. We're gonna go. Wait, does this have a su suspension option? Well, I guess it does. No, I did not want to do that. Mm. Oh, time for the bloopers. Um, this car sort of feels bouncy, but it's not one of the four cars of this update with the bouncy suspension flag back to what we were doing but we're gonna go with the the race bumper scoot twin scoot power bulge vented hood and vented hood with more vents clever naming rockstar um, I'll go with that one. Must be some like electronic cooling for the front because the engine is seated uh, in the rear. It's a mid engine rear wheel drive uh, little sports car. Lights, we don't need them. Though, horn for racing. So we got. Off center black stripe, light yellow. Got Kronos livery number 37. Uh, Escalera number 12. Exorbed 720 number 81. Ocelot, Ocelot sponsorship as well. 
Narc Jackal Racing number 57. Number 37, Excelsior. And number 10, Auto Exotic. Oh. Oh. Ooh, ooh. That's weird. Like. Jackal Racing is the closest to my number than number 58D. I don't know about that. I don't think I... Wait, is there two number 37 liveries? Yes, there is. Cunts. Let's see how Jackal goes. Plate. Gonna go with the, uh, the 58D plates. Metallic. Okay. So I could go black because that is a nice contrast. Bright hot pink, nah. Nah. Uh, I don't know. I decided to go with the black. See, we're probably gonna go with black on the secondary if I'm gonna be at all honest or the anthracite black to be precise on the color choice yeah. roll cage I don't know how some people will think that the roll cage makes this look better. It's like, yeah, it does close off the roof a bunch. But like, I just don't look quite right. You know what? We're going to change up delivery. Excelsior. No, Excelsior. That's the proper way. What's. Wait, what's my primary? Dark Steel. I go with that. Though it don't look right. I think I might just go with black. Yeah, I'm gonna go with black for my secondary. Very neutral color tone car for today's build. Though I'm gonna see about changing that. I might go for a brighter, different color. That is very interesting. With the blue, that kind of look. That actually looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. We're gonna leave it like that. So, no roll cage, skirts, that street, primary and secondary with the carbon, the racing version.
just gonna go with the street skirt. You know what? That just looks off. We're gonna go with the racing skirt. Spoiler. Gonna have to add the spoiler. Uh, I think this is a downforce car. Not too sure. So primary GT carbon. Pr primary aggressive. Primary street. Primary race. Getting up there in the height. I think I'm going to go with the aggressive spoiler. Drop the suspension. Pretty, pretty big difference. Transmission, turbo. And for the wheels, FRS spec it. Oh. These actually have a good bit of dish on them. I like that. Design maybe? Sure, why not? No, to some of you will think this is ugly. This is like the best I can make it look with the FRS racing spec. Um, I can make, I could make a clean build in the future. Holy shit, that's the most broke I've been in a while. Um, <laughs> And I thought giving myself a million dollars as a buffer was gonna be enough, you know. Upgrades being 250 around that, uh, to 250 or 30. But all the customization I just did to this, holy shit, that put it so far down. As far as like the overall looks of this car, like if I were to clean this up and not make it a race build that would be you know what let's just go ahead and de-raceify this I'm, I'm going to leave all the side skirts and the bumpers on with everything like that. Like maybe check, maybe check respray. Nah, I like the black. In fact, let's check out this. Nah, it needs to be. Alright. So that's this car. Um, all customized down. You know, pretty much FRS spec. I thought I closed off the. Never mind, I'm not gonna. Ooh. Pretty twitchy little car. A little tipsy, got a lot of side bite to it, that's for sure. Oh, it wants to get a little dancy on the brakes. Oh, enough with this city driving, can't get some 
actual can't get some actual results off of this we're gonna take it to a track drain dibley grand prix the race we used the race course that we used for race number six um i decided to load this up that way you guys saw at least what track we used uh for race six uh, as well as a bit of a test for this car. So, the suspension is super stiff. That is the stiffest suspension I've experienced. Got a lot of body roll. It got a bit of body roll in it. More than more than what you'd expect. Hopefully I'd be able to pop in a flying lap with this car. I'm just trying to get used to how it handles. Don't feel too slow. But it doesn't feel fast. does not like off throttle so you either gotta be on throttle or off throttle gotta be super aggressive with this car that could be fun doesn't like to be like it wants to be driven aggressive but at the same time it doesn't Like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This car is... This car is definitely going to be more... I don't know. This car doesn't feel all too fast. I should have loaded up three made this a three lapper but whatever gotta get this review done so 1.6 million dollar little roadster uh for looks wise i don't mind the looks of it it's a more of an acquired taste of the vehicle some people hate the looks of it, some people will love the looks of it. Um, I quite like the looks of this car. The driving, it's definitely something you gotta get used to. Um, as you can see, I'm. this is different from every other car I've driven at all. It's like this. This wants to, it's got really stiff suspension and a good bit of side bite. It doesn't want to get unsettled at all. Like, if you unsettled it, settle it a little bit, it's just going to bite you in the ass. As far as, like, its overall performance point wise, I would put this, I would probably put this in lower leagues. Like, maybe, I'd say it's a Sports 3, if not a Sports 4. I don't, I don't know. It, it's very, it's really questionable. So, the Locust, is it worth buying? Maybe for looks, and definitely not for not for the performance this car feels super stiff it doesn't it's not compliant uh like most other sports cars um you have to drive it super aggressive because letting off the throttle not gonna happen going over bumps 
maybe on a completely flat track like there's no elevation change it's all fine but with the elevation change and bumps this car is not a happy one uh, but yeah uh, here in about a week my, my friend will be uploading a video over on his YouTube channel and that would be NTG Wolf um, he focuses more on Call of Duty and a little bit of Minecraft here and there uh, but I did a video with him uh, as you're recording this pretty much just this night pretty much and we had a good bit of fun on Modern Warfare Remastered it's a it's I kind of made up my own game mode with me and one of my other friends and you know we were about to do it but then Wolf joined and it's just a fun video go check check him out he's in the description um but yeah this car I don't mind it I don't think it'll be in my garage for too long as soon as we figure out the performance of it like where it's gonna sit at for the FRS server uh, my prediction is uh, sports 2 or sp uh, not sports 2 but sports 3 or sports 4 um, like it's got decent speed I don't like there it just gets unsettled loves the bumps for top speed I'm kind of split on this car. Yeah. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe for more GTA 5 content. Uh, turn on the notification bell. That way you guys get notified for every time I upload or go live. Uh, FRS Race 8. The fight for the championship continues between Props and I. He's got the lead and I want it. But I'm going to have to work really hard for it. I've got, I've pretty much got my fingers crossed. The scenarios have to align perfectly for me to win. Uh, but with that all away, I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.